just wanted to make a video about, um, kind of a college video about, um, basically if you want to go to college, I think everybody who wants to go to college should be able to go. And, um, I think there are a lot of tips that people just don't know about, like, um, uh, you know, like getting into college and affording college, I think are the two biggest things. And how to survive in college. So I'm going to be making some videos about um, some, like, just college videos about what it's like to be in college and how to get in, how to stay in, how to get your degree, how to pick a major, stuff like that. So, let's see. I think I'm kind of an expert on this. <laughs> no, well, I've been to, like, several different colleges, and I started out... Um, I graduated from high school in 1991, and then, but before that, when I was still in high school, I went to a community college and took a few classes there. So if you are in high school, you can still take um, community college classes, most likely, if you want to, to get started on your college career, or you can just wait till college, whatever. But, um, so I went to community college when I was still in high school, and then for my first year of real college, I, not real college, but my first, like, year out of high school, I went to Barnard College at Columbia University, and it's a women's college in New York City, and it's a really good school, like, it's very competitive to get into, and is pretty prestigious and stuff like that, um, and I, I don't know how I got in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably embarrassing them right now by making these videos, but, um, basically, I think I got in because, um, well, I was involved in a lot of student activities, and I did okay on my SATs, not that great. I didn't get, like, perfect scores or anything, so that's, like, a myth. Like, you don't have to get, like, six. why well, I can't remember what it is, 1,600 or something on the SATs. You don't have to get perfect scores to get into college um, or to even get into a competitive school. I did have good grades, um, and I was involved with some sports teams and also choir and drama and stuff like that. So I guess I was a pretty well-rounded student, um, and I think that's what they look for a lot of times. Um, of course, there's going to be, like, some people who are just, like, super, super smart, and they have, like, a perfect GPA and perfect test scores, and maybe that will, like, be attractive to the school, but um, what I think they mostly look for, if you're talking competitive Ivy League colleges and stuff like that, is... Someone who's well-rounded, who maybe does something a little different than the normal teenager, like, um, who, um, you know, plays a different instrument than normal, or is, like, really, um, dedicated to one area of their life or something in addition to school. So, um, there's that, but, um, I was kind of disillusioned after my first year of college, so I actually left after my first year and went to a different college and then came back later, but more on that story later. <laughs> but I also wanted to say for people who are not right out of high school, you know, maybe people who have had kids or, you know, who have had mental illness issues or something like that, or maybe you dropped out of high school um, and you don't think there's any way you could go to college? Well, it's just not true because um, you can get your GED. And I don't even know if you have to have a GED to go to college these days. So um, you could, like, go to a community college probably without getting a GED, but I'm not too sure about that. But um, also it helps, like, if you don't have a lot of money, you can probably get a Pell Grant or some other kind of grant from the government, and, um, there's also loans, of course, which I have a ton of student loans, but, um, and I hope I can pay those back someday. <laughs> I don't really know, but, um, they do have low interest rates compared to, like, regular loans, like, 
And just recently they were super low interest rates, so I like locked mine in at like 4% or something like that. So um, you can take out student loans and also when you're in school, usually you can find a student job a lot easier, like on campus and stuff, which may like help you in your career later on rather than just having um, a job that you don't like or something. And there's all kinds of different colleges. There's like technical colleges, which teach you like kind of a trade. Or you could go to a community college, which is two years, or a four-year university. And um, it kind of depends on what kind of college you want to go to. Like, um, there are some colleges that are more oriented towards like traditional students, the 18 year olds who come out of who come out of high school right away and stuff like that and then there are like the college that I go to right now it's very non-traditional and there are a lot of older students at the college so I don't feel like a weirdo because <laughs> I'm older so um, yeah it's like it's great that there are non-traditional students at my college and there are a lot more evening classes and commuter students and stuff like that and it was a lot easier to get into than you know an Ivy League college so um, and they'll work with you a lot more like some colleges that that are um, like state schools and stuff like that sometimes they'll work with you a lot more to try to make it so you can go to college so for anyone who has a dream out there of going to college, I say don't give up on your dream because you can do it. And this video is getting long, so I can't really say too much more. But um, there are scholarships out there, and there are scholarships for people with mental illness. I don't know of too many, but I know there's one through Eli Lilly, um, which is called the Reintegration Scholarship. Um, you can go to their website. I think it's elilily.com or something like that. I'll look it up later and put it on the link there. But um, they give a, an award every year to like a whole, bu a whole bunch of students who are who have schizophrenia and are trying to get back into school and stuff like that. So that might be a way to like help fund your college would be to get a scholarship th from them or other people who give out scholarships for people with disabilities and stuff like that. So I guess that's about it. This video is getting long, so I'm going to make more college videos later, and I guess that's it. Bye.